I'm an illustrator and maker who lives in South East London. Um, I first started doing 3D stuff because of a conversation I had with a friend um, about how it'd be kind of cool to have uh, some more interactive stuff in our final show. I ended up making a kind of series of furniture which was based on puns. So there was a, a chest of drawers where um, his abs were different drawers within his chest. Chairman Mao, which was a chair in the shape of Chairman Mao. The Oscars were kind of... I read a quote, something on the, align, the lines of um, awards don't matter, basically. It was kind of just, you know, he's, he's pissing on his podium and the other guy just looks pretty non-plastic. Kind of taking the mick out of the whole like award culture. I've kind of uh, just bodged my way through making stuff. Um, I think up until now, I've just been kind of making it up as I've gone along, and uh, that's kind of the fun of it. I suppose I'm kind of inspired by uh, kind of stupid everyday things. Uh, I like the idea of making something that's quite ridiculous, like the, that no one would invest the time in making, so, you know, a chest of drawers. Or I'm working on a project at the moment where I'm making a massive foot. I'm going to try and put it in the doors of some places to try and drum up some work. So, you know, the kind of idea that people might have but might not necessarily actually do. Started out at university doing lots of um, lots of comics, uh, mainly about myself and yeah, quite quite self-obsessed comics about you know everyday stuff, uh, and that kind of led into the the 3D stuff, I suppose. Um, yeah, it was kind of never really planned, but... Um, so yeah, I, th I think humour is really important in, in illustration. I think it kind of makes it more approachable. I see my work being used in advertising or window displays. Even editorial, I think it shouldn't be limited by the fact that it's 3D. There are loads of illustrators out there who work three-dimensionally and it just it's just a different way of approaching uh, the same kind of briefs, I think. I've got a couple of projects I want to do in the future, one of them being um, a dog's house. You know the, the, the saying, uh, in the dog's house, when like, that's your girlfriend's annoyed with you and like, sends you to sleep on the sofa. I want to make like, a, a man-sized dog kennel with um, kind of everything you need to survive for a couple of days. Uh,